Hi DIYers, Joe from AlarmGrid, and today we're going to talk about how to add hardwired sensors onto a Qualsys IQ2 system. Now we have our Qualsys IQ2 mounted right here, and out of the box it's actually only compatible with Qualsys sensors. Those sensors are going to work on the 319.5 frequency, and they will work with the system as soon as you power it up. Oh, pardon me. They also work, or the system is also compatible with Interlogix and GE sensors, as those also work on the 319.5 frequency. With Qualsys, they have two different types of sensors. They have their regular sensors, and they have their S-line sensors. The S-line sensors provide uh, encryption over their wireless communication. The regular sensors do not. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is because within the regular sensor lineup and within the S-line sensor lineup, there is a device that will allow you to integrate hardwired sensors um, to, the, to wireless and then send it back to the system. And the system also has different ways of integrating different wireless co converters to work with it, which I'm going to explain. So within the Qualsys sensor lineup, there are different devices that you can use to convert hardwired sensors into wireless ones. I have two of them right here, and this is the hardwired 8 and the hardwired 16. The 8 allows you to convert 8 hardwired zones into wireless zones, and the 16 allows you to convert 16 hardwired zones into wireless zones. Let me take it out of the box, though, so you can get a better look of what the device looks like. So this is the 16S. This converts 16 hardwired zones into wireless zones. As you can see, well, not as you can see, but as I can see, because the words are too small. These two terminal blocks on either side, these are going to be where your actual zone wires land onto. On the sides of the terminal blocks, and in fact, around all of the screws on the entire device, everything is labeled, and it's going to tell you what to do. I can see that it says which zone is what for each of the screw pairs going around the whole thing. On the bottom, you'll see that it has its power input. There's two auxiliary ground outputs, and then you actually have a siren out on this device too. It's a very versatile device, and it's great to use. The 8S, on the other hand, it doesn't have as many features as this. In fact, let me show you what it looks like. I have it right here. So as you can see, the 8S, it has much less options when compared, or the 8 rather, has much less options when compared to the, uh, the 16. Uh, you have your zone terminal block right here, which you can land your hardwired zones onto, and you have your power input, but as you can see, it doesn't have those two ground outputs, and it doesn't have the siren out. So if you do require those features, make sure to pick up the 16 or the 16S for your conversion. What that means is that they'll work exactly the same. They're just going to be encrypted when communicating with your IQ2 system, and they work great. But Qualysys IQ2 does have two hardwired terminals that are on the board, and you can connect two burglar devices to the system. You won't be able to use any smokes, COs, heats, or life safety devices, as these terminals don't support those kind of devices. And also, the system itself doesn't have any power output. So if you have a wired motion detector or a wired glass break that's going to need a 12-volt power supply, or very likely it will, the system will not be able to provide that power to it, and you'll have to use an auxiliary power supply if you use a powered burglar device off of the system. For these reasons, the system is really, if you're going to use the terminals on the system, that is, it's best to use them just for a door window contact and in, in the event that it's convenient to actually connect that to where you're mounting the panel. In many instances where you do uh, swap a system with this panel, this is going to go where the keypad is in the front of the house, and a lot of times the front door has the wires going through that keypad cutout in the wall, and it's super easy to connect it to the system. In that event, it's great to use. There's only one other downside to using the onboard terminals for burglar devices, and that's that they require a 4.7K resistor. Now, this resistor, you won't have this in the box as Qualsys doesn't ship it with the system, but if you go online and you search a 4.7K resistor on Amazon, eBay, or Google, you're going to find it in many different setups. Um, it's going to be in kits, and you're going to be able to buy it by itself. Just keep in mind, if you do use the terminals on the system, each one that you use is going to need one 4.7K resistor. Now, the different manufacturers do have some other uh, hardwired to wireless converters, 
and you can use with those with the system, but as I said before, the Qualsys is only compatible with sensors that work on the 319.5 frequency, and many other manufacturers use a different frequency for their devices. I have a couple examples right here. One of them is a Honeywell 5816 wireless sensor. The sensor has a, a magnetic reed switch on the side of it, so it can work with a magnet, but inside of the sensor, and I'll open it up so you can see, there's a terminal block. What this terminal block allows you to do is land a hardwired sensor onto this sensor, and then the sensor can send that wirelessly back to your panel. Now, this device works on the 319 point, or uh, the, uh, pardon me, on the 345 frequency, so it's not directly compatible with the IQ2. A similar sensor to this one is the DW10. This is a two gig sensor. It's almost exactly the same as the uh, 5816 in that it has a reed switch that works with a magnet and it also has a hardwired terminal that you can attach a hardwired sensor to and then program it back to your system. But both these sensors aren't directly compatible with the IQ2. What you can do to make them compatible with your IQ2 is that if you already have an IQ2 mounted in your house, there's a translator called the IQ Translator 345. And what that's going to allow you to do is con uh, convert signals that are on the 345 frequency to the 319.5 frequency, which will then let them work with your Qualsys system. Why would you want to do something like this? Let's say you're in a house and you're installing a new system and there's a whole bunch of Honeywell sensors like the 5816 sensors installed. Instead of spending all the money to replace every sensor in the house, you can simply get the translator module and that'll convert all the existing sensors to work with your Qualsys system. It's gonna make a takeover much, much easier. There's one other option too going forward. This isn't for people that already have a Qualsys system as these daughter boards aren't gonna be released to be individually installed in the systems. They're gonna come with new panels. The, the IQ2 has three slots on the system where Qualsys said they're gonna be installing daughter modules. Now what these modules are gonna do is allow the system to work with specific sensors. So instead of installing an IQ translator to convert all the 345 frequency sensors in the house, you could purchase a Qualsys IQ2 with the 345 daughter board module installed, and then those sensors are gonna work right with the system. So if you do have any converter modules or if you have hardwired sensors that are being turned into wireless and that's already working, in the future you'll be able to buy a Qualsys, install it, and they'll be able to be programmed right into your panel. And that's how to convert hardwired sensors into wireless ones on your Qualsys IQ2. If you do have any questions about this, about the Qualsys IQ2 converting, or even other options for converting, feel free to give us a call, 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Head to the website, jump on chat, contact us however you like. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be updated about future videos when we post them, click the notification button. We'll send you an update when we do so. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.